Coming up on this episode of Swing Nation, we've got an interview with the amazing Rusty Frank. We've got one of our own writing a dissertation about the Savoy Ballroom. And the winners of the Jazz Dance Film Festival. Swing Nation episode 59 starts now. Hit that job, close the door, get the carpet off the floor, Swing Nation. People grooving together. Truck on down, pimp your stroll, put some jelly on that road, Swing Nation. People grooving together. Hello once again, welcome to Swing Nation, episode 59 for October 1st, happy. So if you are new to the Lindy Hop scene or a seasoned professional, there are a few people in the uh, community that you need to know about and our next guest is definitely one of those people. She's a Lindy Hop dancer, a tap dancer, choreographer, producer, teether, teacher, teether? She's a teether. <laughs> she was at one point a teether, I'm sure. <laughs> She's a teacher, uh, author, historian. She wrote the book Tap, the Great Tap Dance Stars and Their Stories, 1900 to 1955. Produced and directed uh, a dance, uh, sorry, an all-star tap review called Jazz Tap, featuring Nicholas Brothers oh, and... Oh, you know those guys. Savvy and Glover, those guys. Oh, my guys. gosh. No big deal. No, no big deal. Um... And she has toured uh, over 50 European cities as a feature dancer uh, for the big band stage show In the Mood, a tribute to Glenn Miller. Joining us remotely from, are you in Hollywood? I am in El Segundo, California. Close enough. From El Segundo, Hollywood Rusty Frank. Yay. <laughs> hey, yeah. Rusty. Nice to be here. Thank uh, you so much for coming on. This is so exciting to have you on. I'm really happy to be here. Yes. Yay. So she she is definitely one of our um, definitely one of our go to people to talk to. Um, I think uh, I've I've had her in mind for a couple of a couple of seasons actually, but I think I kind of wanted the show to get better. <laughs> Let's be honest. You wanted us to get better. Wanted us to get better. That, that that's for sure. Um, how you doing, Rusty? Really well. Just came, had a lunch today with Gene Bellows and Hir Hillary oh. Alexander. And we were talking about your show, and we're really excited that you're doing this. Oh, Nate, she, she, she's so good. <laughs> I love Rusty now. Well, we were saying, that we were both, Hillary and I were both saying that it's really nice that you're introducing us to the younger generation, because we've kind of been here for about 20 years doing our thing, uh, keeping Swing Dance alive. That's our thing. And <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's nice to have you, you kind of bring that onto the show. So thank you. Well, speaking of which, so let's get right down to it. Um, so for those who don't know Rusty, Rusty, why don't you give us a little, uh, little synopsis of your background in tap and Lindy Hop. I know it's okay. really tough, but sure. let's try. Well, I started dancing when I was six years old and it was tap dancing and I was a full on professional tap dancer until 1996 when I was hired by the Stevens sisters to teach tap dancing at their swing camp Catalina. And there I went and went into the ballroom and to my amazement saw about a thousand Lindy Hoppers. And I just, at that moment, that was it. I just had to do it. So I switched over. I actually moved to London for a couple of years and teamed up with Simon Selman over there. And we did a trade where I taught him tap dancing and he taught me Lindy Hop and the rest is history. Came back to California, teamed up with Peter Flahiff. We worked together for five years, built uh, the, what's now called Rusty's Rhythm Club and the school Lindy by the Sea. And we've been, I've been going great guns since. It's, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. And I think that for me, my, my great passion is twofold. One, building community through Lindy Hop and preserving the dance and the artists who brought the dance to us. People like Gene Bellows and the, the tap dancers who I documented before. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. My passion, <laughs> make the world a better place through Lindy Hop. Yeah, actually, while you're, while you're talking about it, can you tell us a little bit more about the Gene Bellows campaign? How did you organize it? <laughs> well, I met her in 1996 at Boogie Barons in Germany, and we just hit it off great. She's such a doll. She's so sweet, so soft-spoken, and, and of course our idol. So, so many of us girls, we just idolize her dancing. And she lives like 
15 miles away from me. So I came home from that and I just decided to forge a friendship with her and did and then started booking her for some gigs. And when I realized that her 90th birthday was coming up, I thought, I really need, this needs to be celebrated. She's alive and she loves to go out and meet Lindy Hoppers. And so I was able to, I just talked to all these friends of mine who produce big events around the world, like Sing Lim with her Sea Jam and Scott Cupid in London and various people, uh, Steve Conrad in Arizona and Sylvia in Italy and arranged with them to book her for her 90th birthday. So we have six gigs this year celebrating Jean 90. <laughs> wow, that is fantastic. <laughs> and, and she's loving it. We've done three, we have three more, and she's just having the best time in the world, really the best. It, it just, you know, this was something she did a long time ago, this groovy movie and swing fever, and she entered another world after that swing dance career. She went into ballroom and then came through in Lindy Hop, came back, and everybody started, not everybody, but a few of us started resurging her. And she just couldn't be sweeter about it. She loves it. So, uh, so, so, so if anybody out there is interested, just contact me. Nice. <laughs> I have to do my agent. So I'm the Jean Vellos agent if you want to book me as contact. <laughs> I don't know where that person came from. <laughs> that was awesome. That is awesome. Go ahead, Ray. So wait, uh, so whose idea was it to get the million views of her... Uh, 90th birthday birthday jam oh that was just a really easy thing to do I just no <laughs> actually one day my one of my students uh, contacted me on Facebook and, and said have you seen what's happening with the gene clip and I said no what's going on and this was a clip that had been posted in March after we came back from Bangkok teaching there for C jam and in one day it had gone up a hundred thousand views and I thought, what the, <laughs> you know, what is going on? And so I contacted that student. I said, where did you see this? Uh, where did it come to you? And she says, well, my mom sent it to me. And you know that when your mom or your dad sends you the clip that you're in, then you've made it, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it turned out that there was a pet blog that posted it. And I tried to what? contact, it's called Pet Flow. And somehow they, uh, this one gal on that, it's a pet company and they post videos that are inspirational and they this gal loved this one and posted it and it just within a week hit a million <laughs> and it's at a million and a half now so we're, wow. we couldn't be happier you mean pets as in like four-legged animals like come here buddy come here, <laughs> come here. <laughs> now he's just sitting down so <laughs> like this guy! Oh my like god, pets. so cute! I can't handle it! <laughs> oh, I guess this there's a... Uh... Just, just, just have to say that this dog actually came in off the street after living on the street for a year and jumped into my arms while I was teaching a Lindy Hop class. And I have 50 witnesses. The True students story. were in the class. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's like my dream. I, <laughs> that's all I want in this world. Sweet teaching dance and then... A, a dog just comes flying into my arms and is adorable. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> so anyway, goal for 2014. I, I, one of the things that's been interesting about the gene clip going viral is it's now the second most viewed Lindy Hop clip that we've ever had. And I think it represents really well because she's dancing with three fabulous instructors uh, from all over the world, from America, from France, and from Singapore. And it just represents the joy that you can do this at any age with all all types of people, it crosses everything. And I think that for me, that's what I love about the dance so much. I Every week when I host my swing dance, Rusty's, I look out and I see people of all different ages, all different backgrounds, dancing together with the same, as I call it, the same goofy grin. They're just having a great time. And it's what's magical about our scene. Exactly, yeah. yeah. We, we, Rusty and I were talking, you know, it's really nice that that, um, that clip has uh, Let's say it's the uh, United Colors of Benetton <laughs> of <laughs> Lindy Hop. United, United Colors of the Swing Out, yeah. United Colors of the Swing Out. Yeah. Um, let's get back to you for a little bit, um, Rusty. I have here that you were seen by over 400 bazillion people. That's the official count. <laughs> That's the official count. Hey, anytime somebody asks you to be Rosie the Riveter in the Rose Parade, the answer is yes. Yeah, it fair was, enough. No Same. one asked me. She was Rosie the Riveter 
in the... That's so cool. In the Rose Parade? In the Rose Parade. Man. H- how do you get that gig to be like... <laughs> Well, they, I had this. I have this friend who's a choreographer. He's not a Lindy Hopper, and he called me and he said, "I think you're my go-to person for this gig. I got the opening ceremonies of the Rose Parade, and I need dancers who can do Cakewalk, 1920s, uh, Lindy Hop, 1960s." And I said, "Yeah, I'm your go-to person." So I knew exactly how to get all the dancers. And with the community of dancers here in LA, it was just so easy to do. And he and I said, "You know, I want to be in the parade too, but I don't want to dance because I had done that before, and in a tap." parade and I had to tap for like five miles and, oh, man, that's so, no and I said so is there anything else you can, and can I be on a float or something and he says I've got oh yeah I've already got that picked out you're going to be Rosie the Riveter and that was just amazing to be this iconic person this iconic character in America's history the we can do it person and uh, I had mentioned this before earlier when we were speaking Manu that she was my idol when I was getting through my broken neck you know, I had that had to wear that halo, and I couldn't drive, and I couldn't do this, and I couldn't do that. And so my motto, and I actually had it emblazoned on my halo vest, was we can do it. And that was it. That was my philosophy. We can do it. And it really spills over into, I think, the Lindy Hop world that we do this together. This is We are together keeping this thing going. I remember Scott Cupid over in London now. One time in 2002, I asked him, how long do you think we can keep this going? Or, oh, no, no. I said, how long? do you think this swing dance revival will last? And he looked at me like this and he said, as long as we want it to. Wow. Mm. And it was kind of like heavy, deep that, that he was right. It's as long as we, you, as we want it to, we can keep it going. Aww. So anybody who's listening out there. Well, thank you, Rusty. Um, you're, you're definitely been a long time inspiration of mine. It's such a great honor for us to have you on the show. Um, so for those of us who uh, kind of want to keep track of what you're up to and see what you're, see what you're interested in, how do, they, how do they reach you? How do they find you? Okay, I've got a website, RustyFrank.com, and that's got everything about my club, my classes, and also all the tap stuff that I have going. And I still have a, I still have a lot of DVDs that are available that are tap preservation DVDs and they're instructional and tell you all about the history of the individuals and also with swing dancing. So I've got about 25 DVDs under my line called On Tap. So those are all there and I'm all over Facebook and all that. But I'm getting to the 5,000 so you have to follow me. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. We, we, we've always followed you. Thanks so much for being on the show. <laughs> Thank and you. And we look forward to seeing your next adventure. Okay, keep up the good work over there. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.